Hello, and in this video I'm going to show you how to replace the stock Traxxas bearing adapter that goes on the spur gear with this aluminium upgrade one, and it also comes with a bearing, and that's, that's a good upgrade as well, <laughs> because I currently don't have a bearing on there, the bearing destroyed itself, and so now I need to replace it, so instead of buying a new bearing I've decided to buy the adapter in aluminium as well that would make it stronger run when running on LiPo batteries instead of the stock battery. And you can see I've already got the spur and everything out, but it's cast together, but there's no screws holding it together. So you need to remove two screws on top, one there and one there, and then two screws on bottom, directly under those two really, to be able to take the back assembly off. And then when you've done that, you can put that to the side. And you now have all of the access to everything. So you've got the spurgy here. You need to take off this nut in order to replace the bearing adapter. So when you've got that off, you can put that to the side. And then you take the spring off. And then you can take the actual bearing adapter off. I'm not going to be using this one, I've obviously got the new one. So here's the new one. That I'm going to be using instead. And you can see just how much nicer that blue aluminium looks in comparison to the stock plastic. And it'd be a lot more durable as well. So, you just, to assemble it, you just put that cone back on, and then the spring, and then the nut. You also want to make sure that all of this is lined up. So, I'll be back when I've done this, and then installed it into the car. So, once you've got this assembled, you want to get the bearing that came in the upgrade kit or if you're using the same old bearing you can put it in as well but you just put it in this gap here to make sure that it's all the way in and then after that you can put the end cap on that this drive shaft bit so that's how it attaches to the drive shaft and in order to do that you just slide it on and then tighten the grub screw all the way once you've got the spur gear in installed, you'll notice that there's two flat edges on the output on this and there's also two flat edges inside this. So you want to line up those edges and just put it together. Once you've done that, you'll want to install the top and bottom screws. Just remember that the top screws are the short ones and the bottom screws are the longer ones. And thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to set the gear mesh, especially if you change either the pinion or spur gear when you take everything apart. And just remember that the short screws for attaching the back end go on the top, those two. And then underneath there's another two screws that go here and here and they're the longer screws out of the four screws total to mount it. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.